Semi. I'm 15 years old, almost 16 years old. Uh, I am a pitcher and a first baseman. Um, I play for Action Baseball in Texas. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just a little bit about me. I'm a podcast. I, I have a podcast called Playball Kid Podcast. Uh, interview some fun people on there. Interview some, uh, some cool people on there. Yeah, a little bit about me. Very little about the word biomechanics in a way. I knew that there's some things that I had to move first before other things move. Like I knew I had to move my hips the first thing that had to go was my hips before I, I could let my torso go. Um, but really, I didn't know a whole lot about it. Again, there was a few small things that I knew just from having pitching coaches like Lance Wheeler, but there was really nothing out there that could tell me or teach me about it like this. It told me a lot. Not only has my velo gone up from using it, I went to eight, from 80 to 88, 89, it was 88.5, so I mean, almost 90. Um, but no, it's, it's also helped me where I've basically been able to become my own coach. I'm able to shoot a video on my phone, look at it and see, okay, I, my hips went first, but my first movement wasn't my butt going down. I just went straight down and I'm able to do those things and be like, on this pitch, I, I take a video of a pitch and I know this is what I did right, this is what I did wrong. Okay, this next pitch I'm gonna be working on, this is what I have to work on. Like, if I went down and still didn't go straight out, this next pitch is what I'm gonna be working on. We're gonna be working on just going straight down, straight out of the mound. So it's helped me become where I don't need to go ask the pitching coach or even ask my dad what I did wrong there. I can look at the video, I'll see like, okay, this is what I did wrong, this is what needs to be fixed, and I'll be able to become my own coach. First, I could not understand a whole bunch about it. I understood the simple numbers like stride length percentage and arm speed, like those numbers I could really understand, but it didn't take, and my dad didn't understand it at first. We had to go and we asked people and we asked coaches and we asked people who have been in biomechanics after the lab and driveline about what some of the numbers actually meant and what I, they need to be at. And of course, with the bar that uh, pro pitcher guy has, it made it a lot easier to be like, okay, if I'm the lighter color, I'm not doing good. But if I'm the really dark color, I'm part of the elite group in that. So that was really easy to help me understand that, okay, this metric I am actually elite at, but this metric I kind of suck at. Um, and of course, the course I dropped graded, that was also a really big help. I aced it, by the way. Quick, quick little flex right there. Um, but no, they really helped me understand a little bit more uh, with the course. And yeah, it was, it was really a thing where I, we asked questions about and we understood more and then we just dove into uh, metrics. And now we're finally getting closer to understanding it all and what needs to happen to throw 90 plus. For me, it was the arm speed. And because at first, when I first used Pitch AI, my arm speed was very slow. It was 14, which it's not going to get you throwing hard. And throughout using it, I've been able to get to averaging 22 to 25. So that was the big thing for me to look at was arm speed. It really helped me be able to throw faster because my arm was moving faster. I didn't have to muscle up. I was just able to let my arm go because it's been said that quick muscles are fast muscles. And that's what I had to have. I had to have the quick muscles and I had those quick muscles while using this. And now it's fast muscles and they're moving so much faster in my arm. So it was really pitch speed that or arm speed that really helped me. But like I said before, that being able to be your own coach, that's the big thing that I see that this can really help with is you don't need to go to those massive pitching coaches or the camps that cost tons of dollars or even go to a, bi uh, a biomechanical lab, which again, costs way too much. You can just go on your phone. It, it's doing the same things as a six, thousand dollar my biomechanical lab does it shows me the same numbers it tells me how i'm moving when it's moving and it's really being able to say that okay i am my own coach i know what i'm doing right and i know what i'm doing wrong and i know what i need to fix and that's the big thing that i see that this can really help with is helping those younger kids become their own coach and helping the next generation be like okay i'm my own coach i don't need anybody to come help me yes okay i'd love my dad or 
I love my teammate to come and watch me throw or see what he's seen and tell me what he's seen. But no, I'm able to be, see what I see from the video and I'm my own, I'm my own coach.